Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. If you can hear me, just confirm so we can start the class. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I hope you all be well. And uh, inshallah, Allah accepts your prayers in this holy month. Uh, we start the class and we continue from the um, where we left last week and also we have uh, today we have two classes right mm. we have two jalese okay uh, okay thank you very much alhamdulillah so we start if if you remember I, I will just quickly review uh, what I discussed in the previous sections and then we'll continue on uh, what we, uh, from where we left in the last session. If you remember, we said that uh, we should have our design, we should have our design for security or in the other word our design should be based on the security so design for the security the first step or aval is to do the um segmentation the first step is to the segmentation the second step or sony second step was to uh, do the perimeter defense And the third step is uh, pay attention to containment. So segmentation. about tags here perimeter defense is how mm. it Containment in Arabic is Muqtaba. Containment is Muqtaba. So for network segmentation, we started from dividing the network into... Thank you very much, Ehsan. Wa alaykum as -salam. Okay. Uh, for segmentation we said that whenever you have network it's when you have network you divide it or you do the type ZA you divide it into for example several segments and then for segments each segment you divide to three you 
zones. So for segmentation, we divide the network into several segments. For each segment, we define three zones. Okay, uh, of I didn't type this in. Three zones. So for example, if we have something like university network, we divide it to facilities which is khadamat okay for university and namuzaj or as an example for university we define the first for example the sections into khadamat Marcas, oh, I'm sorry, Marcas and Tolop, for example, or we can put it uh, if it's an uh, uh, organization, we can put it internet. Okay, so Khadamot, Marcas, internet. So for each of them, we should have three zones. So this is for for example, Khadamat, it can be for Marcas, and it can be, for example, the third layer, or we can also add Tolab, Tolab and Internet, we can make three layers. For each of them, we should have three zoom, Aval, Sani, Salis. What were the... What was the three zones? One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. And here, one, two. Exactly, thank you, Mare. Exactly. So, a first layer is here is Hadamot, second layer is Marcas, the third layer is Tolob, the last layer here is Internet, which is the outside of the network. So, this is inside. This is Dachel for Merkaz and this is Dachel for Tulla. Here is the first DMZ, here is the second DMZ, and this is the third DMZ. So it was all about the first part. idea the second step was perimeter defense how we, we are going to connect these parts together if you remember i've already told you that these two parts are same and these two parts are same so inside the uh, markaz is outside the khadamat okay inside the markaz is outside the khadamat and inside the tolab is outside the markas. So this is it. So this is the kharaj and also dakhil and this is the kharaj uh, and also dakhil and this is the Kharaj or Kharaj is same as internet, okay? This is the same thing. Internet and Kharaj is same thing. The next thing was about, or the second step uh, was to put Ha'et, okay? Or to put walls or the barriers on the network. There are places that we should put the barriers. These places are like... 
you see one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here, and one here. Okay, this is one way. The other way is that we use one barrier and divide each zone. For example, we put one barrier and then we connect this barrier to uh, three different zones. Okay, like this. So we put Dachel um, here. We put DMZ here. Waalaikum salam. And we put Kharaj here. Okay, this, this was another way to put the Barrier. So for putting the barriers, we have two ways of putting barriers or to, to create hoet. Tariqatane levazel havajes. Okay. For putting hoet or uh, how about just we have two different way the first solution is to use this way the second solution is this way if we use this way you need one two three four five six okay here in this way you need six if you use the second way you only need for example one for this network and then one for this network and one for this network. We need three barriers for or three havages, okay? Or three hodges. You need three either three hodges. Um, I think we say all three all six hodges, okay? Two all three all six hodges to divide the network into different barriers so this is this was about all barriers and also now about the barriers we say that we we have different solutions for using the barriers so here we say mm, in Arabic now Mozo Hodges or Mozo Hodges. Okay, we start today's course or today's lesson from here Mazo Hodges or Mazo Ha'et okay the first Hodges that you can have you can have um, they can be okay it's I think it's better that I write them here so everybody can write it and um, can take a note okay uh, the havages can be they can be the first thing is air gap now we are going to teach okay the first thing is get air gap you can put firewall you can put intrusion detection systems maybe you can use not proxy or you can use router these are the solution common solution to create hot okay these are the common solutions to create hot or hodges now i will go back to the slides to see what we have here uh, on the slides for the rest of the mm, course so you so you see the here it says two approaches we have two methods okay or two ways to uh, 
um, separ uh, for separation or uh, I think it's in Arabic for faraq. Okay, we have two ways for faraq. The first is air gap. The second is uh, firewall. Air gap means that physically we disconnect everything from each other. So when you disconnect everything and you have two separate networks, it means that you have air gap. If you it's necessary for you to come connect the networks together it's whether you use firewall or router or NAT or proxy firewall uh, the definition of firewall okay tarif it's essential a router which uh, has a rule that which traffic we allow and devices can block uh, or stop this allow traffic, it's tunable integration between the networks. Okay, so now we have one slide or a short word on router. Router is a device that only forwards the traffic. It's not suitable for segmentation, but although it can filter the traffic. So, um, but sometimes it's difficult uh, for you to distinguish between the firewall and router because they do the, they both do the same thing. So it's, you see, if I put here, what is the difference between firewall and router? And what is the difference between firewall and IDS? These are important, okay, especially for exam, because usually you ask me what are the questions in exam, or you always uh, are concerned about Mtahan, okay, not learning things, you always ask about uh, Mtahan and so on and so forth. So uh, these are the important thing on the uh, Mtahan, okay. Uh, I don't. I hope Mohammed, you put it here for your friends. Okay, thank you very much. So these are the important notes for Mtahan. If I go to the whiteboard, the difference between the I will write it here: uh, firewall and router, and the difference between firewall and in intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system okay between firewall and IDS or IPS okay we call them IDS or IPS the firewall uh, is a router or we say is a filter that can also route so the main duty is to filter okay but the router router is a router that can also do the filtering so the main duty is to route so this is router and this is firewall the difference between router and firewall but the difference between firewall and IDS is that the firewall works on rules for each packet. The rules The rules are aesthetic and based on the policy 
of the company. Okay, the firewall works on rules. Okay, firewall work on rules for each packet. The rules are static and are based on policy of the company or company. But the IDS is the IDS works based on the IDS works on patterns. It investigates the Yes, exactly. The whole maybe behavior or session or a string of packets. Okay. So, yes, exactly. It worked on Namot. It investigates the all behavior session or a string of packets okay so ideas is like this and the firewall is like this Muhammad in most routers and routers there is a firewall a exactly yes Muhammad uh, most uh, all of the routers can do uh, can uh, does the responsibility of the firewall but usually in the big networks it's better that we do not use router as firewall and vice versa in most of the networks we can use only firewall for routing but it's better that we, uh, we we can always use firewall as routing but it's better that in big network we don't do it for example in your home okay or in your masakin okay uh, when you have a modem your modem is modem router firewall NAT DNS and so on uh, so far and so on and so far okay so this is for your uh, local modem in your home but for professional networks for big networks that should be different. okay it's okay Russia welcome uh, so these are the difference these are very important the difference between firewall and router and the difference between firewall and intrusion detection system I will switch back to the slides to see what we have on the slides so this is the, the, the router is the device to forward the traffic not for segmentation and routers uh, are built or they focus is on connecting the devices not doing the segmentation but sometimes it's difficult to distinguish between them so the definition of the air gap what is air gap air gap is like that if i go back uh, again to the board of 55 i think if you want to connect this network not connecting because it's obvious which is disconnecting if you want to use air gap between these uh, three layers, the first layer is Khadamat, the second layer is Merkad, and the third layer is Tullah. If you want to define air, define air gap, it means that there should be no connection between the different layer. Law yujadul ittasal okay la yujadul ittasal so if you want to do this you should remove the dmz okay so it becomes something like this okay no connection so it becomes something like this this is the first layer 
and this is the second layer uh, ob it's obvious that there is no kharaj because it's all dakhil and this is the third layer and then the internet so we call this area air gap that means that between these two networks there is a air gap no physical connection this is the concept of air gap so i go back uh, to the slide You see no physical connections between the networks no traffic can follow can follow sorry can follow no streaming and we call it complete uh, security the ideal uh, separator is air gap but usually we say that uh, we often need to transform or transfer or transport data from this for good somewhere else but uh, and because of that uh, the air gap is not completely possible if we transfer data frequently then changes that are, have been found to convenient the, the, that the chances that are we have found a convenient way it's uh, also attacker will find a way to use that solution to um, transfer the information to the air gap so we say air gap means okay no physical connection which is It is Al Masali or it is perfect, it is Jade. Okay, it's good, but in most of the cases. Like and female than a lot. It's many. Okay. In most of the cases, it is impossible. Why? Well, now we, are, we will go through the. Uh, reasons that it's it's uh, ideal but it's not impossible something that for example when you want to update the uh, even uh, antiviruses or uh, operating system you should connect to the internet update or when you want to do backup or you want to back up the system or you want to copy or transfer the information and so far and so on so for doing these things you should have temporary connections okay and uh, i will go through it on the slides for you to e uh, it's easier for you to understand you see if i go back to the uh, 55 you see uh, you put air gap here let me remove the firewall because we don't need firewall you see we have air gaps here okay so when when you have here one computer inside the network that you need to for example update the windows or update update the antiviruses you should connect it to the internet to update the uh, mm, operating system or antivirus the second thing is that for example if you want to uh, or if you use some wireless devices you see for example one if you have wireless device 
or a smartphone. Hotel Zaki, okay, or wireless device, or for example, laptop. If you have wireless device and you connect your wireless device to the inside network from one uh, connection it will be connected to the internet for example here you have on this side you have mobile data and this side you are connected to the inside network for example using the Wi-Fi or using the Bluetooth you connect to the inside the network so it makes air gap uh, not be implemented uh, practically it doesn't exist the next thing is insider threats whatever happens or any attacks that happens here for example inside attacks we cannot do anything about it misconfiguration is the same thing again if you by mistake connect inside to the outside and the laptop computer and unintentional bridges are same if you want if we unintentionally we say or by mistake you see uh, by by mistake and tariqal khata okay and tariqal khata if by mistake you connect your network to the outside world again you will have the problem and then also physical access if you have physical access to the network we will have the problem so let me go back to the the slice air gap really does not exist exist uh, completely because of temporary connections or maybe because the misconfiguration we discussed it maybe um al khata honest mistake sometimes we don't uh, understand the uh, policy of the system properly we don't understand what the system wants and also another thing is that the design does not support business needs for example when you have a specific needs that the design does not support you try to uh, what we call it we call it bend the um, uh, rules okay uh, it means that user will break the law. Okay, استخدم المستخدم الصافا يكسر القاء. Okay, like did as المستخدم الصافا يكسر القاء if the law does not meet the users requirements I hope I translated it properly as a kanal mustafi al man khafaz la yalbi mutalibat al mustakhdamin yes mutalibat al mustakhdamin is very important so if you have poor policy that that policy does not support a user's needs 
for business needs you the air gap will be uh, skipped okay by the user another concept which is very important in air gap is the concept of um, time lapse connection this is very important okay for again for mtahan okay the tarif or concept of air gap connection what is air gap connection uh, i will go to the board and i explain what is air gap connection a gap connection means that, for example, you have a high security network. For example, this is your network, high security network on the other side of the air gap. Okay. This is high security network on the other side of the air gap and it has no connection to the internet okay and this is internet they are far from each other as you see in the design there is no way that you connect this network to the internet but you see for example you have a technician or mustakhdem if i'm not mistaken okay you have an engineer or mustakhdem that he works in this network and he has a laptop okay so this is the this is the laptop and consider that this is time okay And it is, for example, I think you call it byte, okay, or home. And this is the guy, for example, it's a engineer, okay? Something that happens, just pay attention to the time, okay? Time that we have here. Something that happens is that the person's home is connected to the internet. But the inside network or high security network is not connected to the internet. Uh, students do you, can you hear me do you have the, my voice i think it's okay yes thank you uh, riam i think it's your own problem okay just check your own internet okay uh, so this is this is the home of the person which is connected to the internet and we have high security network which is not connected to the internet when the person goes to the home, you see at this time, it connects laptop his or her laptop to the local network and through the local network, it goes to the internet. And maybe there is, a, for example, uh, I don't know, virus or attacks or 
malwares, okay, or whatever it is, it will go directly to the laptop, okay, it will go to the laptop. Then in another time, or another slice in the time, the engineer will connect his laptop to the inside network. So whatever it is inside the laptop will go to to the network and or maybe it collects the information so if this is virus or virus if this is malware or maybe it attacks the um, high security network Again, another slice in the time, okay? Again, another slice in the time. The person will take his laptop and will connect it to the home network and the information that it took from the high security network will transfer it to the internet. So it means that although you have here air gap and you think that you have no connection, okay, although you have air gap and you think that you have no connection, it means that you really sending the information to the internet and receiving the information from internet and sending information to the internet and receiving the information uh, from the internet something that you need is that we say you only need a long time okay and you only need long time and it is offline but it is connected you see it is offline but you are connected to the internet we call this concept time lapse Okay, so you you think that you you have disconnected your network from the internet, but practically your network is connected to the internet. Something that you need is only uh, you need a, a long time for the laptop to transfer information from the high security network to the internet and vice versa. If it's okay, I'll go to the next section or next concept. Okay, was it clear? And uh, you can also uh, take a, a snapshot or a screenshot from the uh, photos and put it in the group if you like for you to remember the concepts, okay? Okay, uh, let me see what Marv has said. Uh, during the search for the statistics you requested from us, for the first assignment, I noticed that the statistics showed that most of the attacks that company are exposed to because of their employees and their irresponsible use of company resources yes exactly this is 100 percent correct if the users or 
مستخدم employees they are not on board yes we will have um, big problem okay we will have problems serious problems okay that's 100 percent okay thank you very much Mara for mentioning this so this is totally the concept of uh, what we say time lapse connection now I, I should go to the um, again go back to the previous slide to talk about the uh, or I can show you on the slides do you see uh, you see that where we, we are going with this so th this was the concept of laptop connections uh, um, or the time lapse connection that we use with laptop we connect laptop to the uh, network on the other side of the wall, uh, firewall and again we connect it to the for example home network and we transfer viruses and we transfer malware and everything okay the next thing is dual home systems the concept of dual home systems is that there are some systems and which are necessary for the uh, organization that from one side they are connected to the inside the network or um, protected area of the network and from other side they are connected to the internet those systems that we put in dmz Okay, for example, the systems that we put in DMZ, they are du dual home systems. So when we have dual home systems, uh, we cannot completely implement the air gap. It's impossible to have air gaps. Example for dual home systems, again, if I draw, so for dual home system, we always should put them inside the DMZ, okay? Again, for Mtahan, okay, for Mtahan, Tarifa Dual Home Systems, okay, for Mtahan, Tarifa Dual Home Systems. Dual Home Systems are systems that from one side they are connected into the inside world, okay, and then from the other side they should communicate with outside world and usually we put dual home systems inside the DMZ so what are the dual home systems something like web servers okay web servers they need to get the information from Databases. Okay, here is Dachel. Okay, and here is here is Kharaj. Yes, yes. This is example and also the Asra. This is example and also definition of dual systems. Okay, one example is uh, or uh, is web server or our web servers. All web servers they need access from internet and also they need access to the local databases another dual home systems are um, english dns servers okay dns servers dns servers they need to be updated through the internet and they should uh, access to the local systems okay this usually network management systems network management or monitor systems okay they need to access or the update, be updated from the internet and also they need to access to the local system or application servers again they need access to the 
inside world and also they need access to the internet but for example something like DHCP okay DHCP doesn't it's not dual home DHCP is not dual home DNS is dual home a web server is dual home okay web server is dual home but for example dhcp service is not dual home be because usually it works inside the network and that's the diff because of the dual home systems you should have dmz and then when you have dmz it means that again air gap is not possible you cannot have air gap this is another uh, reason that we in most of the cases it is impossible for us to implement air gap or to have air gap okay that's impossible it was impossible okay 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 to have dual home system this this was another reason that uh, okay, okay okay this was another reason that it's impossible that we have air gap so why the air gap does not it exist we talked about mistakes we talked about the problems with the policy we talked about business and user needs. Marvel told you about the problem with the users. It was very good. We talked about time lapse connections. We talked about dual home systems. And another reason is because of the network management. In network management or good network management, we need to access the whole network from one one place okay we need to access the whole network okay now no little wusul ella shabaketabel kamel okay from one or more point okay men noktat al wahida aw aksar okay men noktat al wahida aw aksar okay we need to access the network from places for example if again i go to the i think it was 55 you see uh, when you when you have network management, okay, when you have network management, if you remember why I just remove this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, okay. Okay, so you have for example Network monitors, or for example, usually uh, in the system, something like cameras, okay, that you have in the systems, okay, network monitors or cameras. You should access them, it's not important when you put them, it's not important when you put them, but you should access from network monitor, you should access here. And you should access here and you should access here and you should access here okay it's it's one place that you should access all of the networks from it it's not again i i tell you it's not important when you put the network monitor or network management and when you have one place that you can access all of the networks it means that for example from the internet 
you can transfer the wires to the network monitor and it can transfer the, to uh, the wires to the inside network so it's like that or you can get the information from the high security networks for example and it will transfer it to the internet so the network monitors will defeat the air gap yes surveillance exactly the same tick that it, it it will again I, I will write air gap here because if you remember we we had air gaps here and we say because of the network management it's impossible to have air gap it's impossible to implement the air gap so let let me go back to the um, slice to see what we have for a gap it means that when we have good network management it means that we don't have air gap so the conclusion is that the air gap uh, it's good it's excellent I think it was in Arabic Jade okay uh, the the conclusion is that air gap is good but it's not empirical or practical okay uh, amalinist okay amalinist okay not practical because it restricts the network and usually because even when we use غیر uh, عملی yes exactly غیر عملی okay even we, when we use for example USBs or when we use wireless devices or when we use the smartphones or laptop uh, or dual home system or network management we defeat the air gap or we skip we skip the air gap and that's why uh, it's not possible Usually, as Marvet said, exactly, people also um, try or tend to defeat the air gap. People, uh, Marvet, if possible, you write the same thing in Arabic. If it's possible, something that you wrote for me about the um, people who are working somewhere, clerks and employees and mustakhdem. Okay, you write, uh, you write the same thing in Arabic. Thank you. So uh, people tend to defeat the air gap so the conclusion is that you try to implement it uh, but do not but bother because uh, you should consider you always should consider or assume what is assume uh, thank you just uh, please uh, all the students read what a Marve wrote okay it's important okay thank you Marve so the conclusion for the air gap is that use it but assume Taliol Riyam. Okay, use it or but assume that this does it does not exist and then cons a focus on the design in the way that you consider that air gap does not exist. So the next thing is firewall, but before I go to firewall, we can just have a break before we start talking about the firewall we can be because it's already one hour and as i told you in ramadan um i try to make the class shorter after the ramadan and also i think it's you should be uh, in the university and we mean we will meet face to face the class will be uh, 130 or 120 but in ramadan it's it's a little bit uh, shorter i will close the class shorter so we will have a break um, 
will have a short break. Okay, now uh, I will type it in there for you to see. I will type it in the note. Okay, and uh, now it's 15 10. Uh, Ali, it depends on the university. I, I believe not the next week. I believe from two weeks from now, it will be in the university. You should come to the university. But it depends on the university, okay? Whatever they say. I, I'm not sure for example. Uh, and now it's um, 10 past 3, okay? We will have break. We will... A break to it can be fifteen thirty and we start again. Well when we come back to the class I will close the class and open a new one for recording. Okay, so now I stop the recording and then uh, we'll cl start class at um, 3.30 and we will open the new one. Okay, this is the start.